Trevor Story hits one fairly well outside of Yankee Stadium. We make the opponent rage quit. That's what I'm talking about. I know this video is already a contradiction considering the team that I'm wearing on my head. But hey, don't worry about it. I'm from the Bronx, but the Red Sox were the ones that made the splash, signing Trevor Story to a six-year, $140 million contract, and he said he'll move to second base. So that's exactly what we did. Now, the lineup that I'm currently using, I went to Rotowire, and this is the lineup that they had. So please don't kill me, but this is what we're rocking. And you can pause it and see it yourself as well. Now, I want you all to comment down below where you think Michael Conforto signs. The first one to get it correct without editing their comment gets a point towards the point system at five correct comments. You go ahead and receive a reward. Kike Hernandez is going to start off the season with a strikeout, unfortunately. It's honestly ironic that we're facing Pedro Martinez. Rafael Devers tries to lift one up, and it's going to stay fair very early on that circle change. So not a very good look for the Red Sox to start off the season. Swinging at pitches underneath the strike zone. Gotta be more disciplined. That's gonna be an easy out. Bobby is gonna be there. He flips it over to Nathan Eovaldi. That's a strikeout for Nathan Eovaldi. First one of the season. Good cutter on the outside corner. Catches him looking. Hey, listen. If you're a Red Sox fan and you think you guys are gonna win the World Series, make sure you guys hit that like button. I wanna see how many Red Sox fans watch me. JD almost gets the first hit of the season. Inside sinker, I'm just late on it. Gotta speed up the bat a little bit. I was gonna say poetic justice. Our first good swing, Trevor Story is the one that has it, but it's gonna be a ground out as well. Alex Verdugo says hasta la vista, baby. Blade Bomba. That's gonna be the first run of the Red Sox off Pedro Martinez. Solo shot 367 feet. And then Bobby. Has a good swing on that sinker. We're starting to catch up on it righty on righty, which is perfect. Oh, check swing. He can't hold up. We get the strikeout. Great slider. We get another strikeout. Nathan Eovaldi, he's just doing a great job. We get the strikeout. Three up, three down, all strikeouts. Alex, or not Alex. I don't know what I was thinking about him. Christian Vasquez, he's going to get a base hit right back up the middle. This might be risky, but I'm sending him to steal. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a squeeze, or not a squeeze, but you know, a sacrifice bunt, move the runner over. I think that's what works best for us here. And then Kike Hernandez's blade boom by number two. He's gonna go ahead and give us a three run lead to start things off. 398 feet. Devers, great hit ball the other way. Outside sinker, drives it exactly where he needs to. He gets himself a base hit as well. Xander Bogart says, hey, no, ain't no replacing me, baby. He gets a blade bomb as well. That one is going to be 388 feet as we are up five zip. He's going to go ahead and quit. So the 2022 Red Sox have already made one opponent quit. Let's go into game number two. Now, once again, this is according to Rotowire. Nick Pavetta is their second starting pitcher in the rotation. We're playing at Yankee Stadium. Ain't this beautiful? Kike Hernandez, perfect, perfect. It's gonna be a line out to center field, although. Hey, you couldn't have hit that ball much better, my boy. And then Rafael Devers gets a slider. He lifts it up into the air, but that's gonna be another fly out to deep center field. Use the short porch. Aim it towards right field. You'll hit a home run every time. And then, does Bogey do it? He says, hey. I'll aim it over there, right off the wall, although that's going to be a double, fine with us. Okay, JD is walked. That's going to bring up once again, Trevor Story. Trevor Story, oh, I was too aggressive on that. I thought it was an outside fastball. I wanted to hit it the other way, but I was early on that slider. Fly out. We're going to have Kike there, no problem. Base hit right back up the middle. Now, all I ask, hit that like button, red subscribe button, and turn on the notifications if you haven't done so already. Almost hit Babe Ruth, and he's going to get second base. So I threw it a little bit inside just in case he tried to steal, and unfortunately, the runner moves over regardless. That's going to be a strikeout. That's exactly what we needed in that situation, too. Great slider. Bogey. Easy money. Easy out. We do this. Alex Verdugo gets a hanging curveball, right? 
We tried to do what we did in that last game, but everything we're hitting is just going to center. It's like they have a vacuum out there. Oh, come on, Bobby. You telling me I'm over here hitting these curveballs that well? Missing them by just a bit and we can't take one out of the short porch? Christian Vasquez, no match for Jacob DeGrom's fastball as he strikes out on three pitches. This should be another easy out. Despite him having 85 speed, it's no problem for us. I thought that was gone. I was like, damn. But should be no problem. Kike's going to go ahead and get it off the wall. Took a little long to throw that into the infield, but a double's no biggie for us. We get the strikeout on Nolan Arenado, and that's going to bring up Jacob DeGrom, who is a good hitter in this game. We get the strikeout. Now, I don't like the fact that Nathan Eovaldi is opening up the inning. I'm going to take two strikes, and then I'm swinging away. Or Nick Pavetta, I should say. Nick Pavetta strikes out on a 101 miles per hour fastball. We take that walk. Worked it to a full count. Got the walk. And here comes the dangerous Rafael Devers. We take that walk as well. So back-to-back -back walks, bringing up Xander Bogarts. Oof. Missed that fastball. And then we miss another fastball. I, I, I wanted to hit a home run on that one so bad. Back up the middle, 65 speed. It should be enough to drive in the run. Mickey Mantle is out there, so you know he has a cannon. But that's not going to be enough when Red Sox take the lead 1-0. He instantly challenges Trevor Story, and we just cannot find the ball as we strike out in a situation where we could have driven in at least two. Easy out to Trevor Story. They, at least you get to see him playing second base a little bit. Base hit for Trey Turner. Just a little cheap hit up the middle. Fly ball. He sent the runner, but he's going to have enough time to get back. So we're just going to catch this and throw it to the cutoff, man. He swings super early. We tried to get a good throw over there, but he had to block the ball first. Change up up the middle. Does Kike have enough? No, he's not going to have enough to actually throw him out. We're going to go ahead and throw it to the cutoff, man. And now the game is back to being tied 1-1. That's going to be a base hit the other way. So they're just out there finding holes, basically. Throw him a high fastball. Blow it past him. Beautiful. He hits the ball. Not sharply. Weakly hit ground ball to Frank Thomas. He's going to go ahead and hit Bobby, so that puts a runner on first. Christian Vasquez, let's do something. Back up the middle, change up. 68 speed, I'm just not testing Mickey Mantle's arm. I'm good on that. I was not looking to swing, didn't want to double play ball, so we were going to take all three pitches if he threw us three strikes. He tried to turn on that fastball because I was expecting it, but I'm still super early. Oh my, how am I missing the fastballs? They're right down the middle. I understand it's Jacob DeGrom, but Jesus Christ. He hits that ball fairly well. I don't know if JD has enough to make this grab. Maybe, hey, JD has range. Ground ball, Xander Bogars, who has been playing an exceptional shortstop, is going to be able to make the play no problem. He's going to go ahead and try to bunt it the other way. Easy out for Rafael Devers. End of the fourth. I think Nick has at least one more inning. That was it. That could have been hit to Narnia for crying out loud. And I'm on top of it. Don't worry. If you're a Red Sox fan, I'm as frustrated as you right now. Every hanger, we're just not crushing it. All right, that's a walk. Trevor Story, no pressure. You haven't done anything so far this video, no pressure. Trevor Story hits one fairly well outside of Yankee Stadium. We make the opponent rage quit. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing but good luck coming to the Boston Red Sox as we walk it off, force them to quit in Yankee Stadium. Stop playing with me. Now, if you did end up enjoying today's content, hit that like button, red subscribe button, turn on the channel notifications because we got more teams to come. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And check out the description. We stream each and every single day, 9 p.m. Eastern on Sundays, 8 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Doses.